place is better to be on a warm summer afternoon than this place right here. A bright, sunshiny day here at the ballpark. Just a Chamber of Commerce afternoon. Now from Coors Field in Denver, MLB Network is live and on the air. Should be a good one today in Diamond Dynasty between St. Louis and La. Striding in, Tony Gwynn. He will lead this one off today. Leading off for the Bulldogs. Ready to deliver. The Here's right the first pitch. Tony. This is Gwynn. hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Harper looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Into the box that now, exactly. Brandon Phillips, as he'll baseball. get his first opportunity Brandon. in this one. Phillip. First offering on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Porcello, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff he won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch to contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. Even two and two count to Brandon Phillips. That misses, so the count goes full now to the second batter of the ball game. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. So stepping in, Michael third. Brantley. The He'll get to take his first cuts Michael here. Brantley. Here's the first pitch to him. The wow. fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1-0. One, one and oh. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And he'll be back in standing up. 
Phillips leads off first with one away. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here's a look over to first, and he's back standing. Now the 2 1 pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, but that'll be off the wall in right center. And he is out heading back to second. At the play, Tommy Pham, runner in scoring position with two gone. Number 29, Tommy Pham. From the stretch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. A ball and two strikes. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. The tag, and he is out at the play. And so much for our... Into the box now, Keith Hernandez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The first baseman. Round ball foul down the left side. Looped out toward third. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Digging in, Chipper Jones. The third baseman. Chipper Jones. First pitch coming, here it is. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. The 0 1. Strike taken up in the zone. I feel like when you're facing a two pitch mix like this, sink or change up. And that is into right field, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Coming to the plate that now, Dante Bichette. Right and field. he could give his guys an Dante. early lead if he can come through Bichette. here. Gwynn sprinting after it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Bryce that Harper. First delivery to him on the way. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And he fouls this one off. Harper is a guy that thrives in these opposite-handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right-handed pitching. Yeah, because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pole guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that this ball gets down, let's see if they try to score. The run comes across the score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Now in the box, Brandon Phillips. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. On the ground to second base. This could be two to second for one for Clark to complete the double play in the inning. Now batting Tommy Pham. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the at bat. Tommy Pham. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. one. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. The one two is laid off for ball two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. 
In now, Will Clark. That is big. The first baseman, number 22, Will. He's set Clark. and the pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the third baseman, Matt Williams. Here's the first pitch to him. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now with the play, Jason Kendall, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. Grounded down the third baseline. Hit high and deep out to left. Harper ranging back at the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track. Is that so digging in now? Ken Griffey Jr. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Junior. And it's a ball and a strike to Ken Griffey Jr. Hey boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. The one two. Misses for the second ball. The two two one more time. Line but speared on a hop. And that's the first out. Stepping into the box, Paul Not DeYoung. First pitch coming, here De it is. Young. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is Brantley. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So the bases are clear now following the home run. And next to hit is the catcher, Benito Santiago. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Nothing in two, the count to Santiago. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there, out in front on that off-speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Benito Santiago goes down for the second out in the bottom half. Rick Porcello is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Two out, nobody on. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Phillips will put this one away and the side is retired. Striding into the box, Cal Ripken. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bichette is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Hit down the line at first but this will wind up a foul ball strike two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. 